Hi folks. Hi folks. Mike and Tam here in our driveway about to head out. It's a gloomy weather day, but I'm still very excited. I have wanted to visit Uhlberg ever since I heard someone was building a castle outside of Alpine Hell in Georgia. Not a scale model, Tammy, an actual castle. It's a project that's been going on for years, but I've been following it as closely as possible. There's not a lot of photo or video out there, but I joined the email list for this project as soon as I heard there was one. And this weekend, they are actually offering tours, the first public tours to members of their emailing list. And we are about to be on the very first public tour of the castle, Eagle Owl, outside of Helen, Georgia. We are looking for the entrance. We're on Ridge Road, back up in the woods. And we were told from the email uh, that the entrance would be here. And I think, judging by these cars lined up, off this road, we have found the entrance. Watching these things, and I just get such a kick out of it. Well, I'm, I'm glad, you, thank you. Seeing you eat at the various restaurants and stuff, it's just interesting to see your, your take on Helen and how much time you spend. Over. People working here are subscribers to our channel and uh -huh. watch us. Wow, even if the castle collapses before we actually get up to it, uh, I think my day has just been made. Did you see on the way up here from the road, did you see anything of the castle at all, any hint no. of its outline. It is totally concealed by the forest here outside of Helen. This is so cool. Coming up on the castle. Holy, wow. If you translate uh, Ugelberg, it's Eagle Owl Castle. And we chose the owl as our mascot because Socrates suggested that, uh, that it really is the mascot of philosophy. And we consider this a philosophical place. And so this is uh, one of the earliest, longest practiced religions in the world called Zoroastrianism. And in this case, it's a dualistic one. And you'll see a lot of features in other religions. You recycle. And you go up into a tower and the birds eat you up. After three days, your soul is reviewed by these three entities. And they'll check you for your covenants or your agreements. Did you violate your own conscience? Or did you have a sense of justice? If you did good, this beautiful woman takes you to this bridge and takes you to the house of song. On the other hand, if it didn't go so good for you, <laughs> you end up going with this old hag and she takes you on this bridge that gets narrower and narrower and narrower until finally you slip down and you fall into the house of lies. Oh, cool, this is not gonna be on the regular tour when this starts, the secret passage. Of course, some familiar trees, a banana tree, and right behind you is an avocado tree. Oh, wow. And, uh, some more popular, just general plants. That uh, one in the... In papayas, yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, wow. I did. I'm doing, this was one of my COVID projects with the <laughs> shutdown because I put the seeds in the back of the refrigerator to chill, like they said, but I forgot them about them for a year and everybody's <laughs> cleaning cabinets and fridges. Yes. I thought, time to grow these seeds. And oh, wow. they grew. Wow. They did good. Yeah. yeah. A lot of these plants we've had the house for years. Oh my goodness. So this is the best foundation in the rest of the This is the great hall and uh, this is where we'll have dances, weddings, um, lectures, this be the piece. Guest rooms for the bed and breakfast will be up here. Tammy and I will definitely be booking our stay here. These are some nice pieces of furniture right there, too. Is this a guest room? Well, this one's got a little bit of a porch. And we have to opaque that window there sometimes. <coughs> and uh, we're trying to get other furniture that's useful, uh, some place to sit down, and light something, somewhere to sit down. And put your Tammy, I think we're going to be booking this guest room. Right? Yeah. Right. yeah. Look at the shower. Is, is the shower like Another guest room with a nice view of the, the gardens. We might have to book this room, Jeremy. Yeah, because the great hall is here, we don't have windows to the outside. And then we have the three windows here to show look into the uh, atrium. Um, and then uh, the shower is. Nice. <laughs> Now looking down, you can see there's three mural. Is that the greenhouse? Yes. Oh, they're wonderful. Yeah. yeah the greenhouse and. Uh, I love the uh, smoke, the Smoky Mountains. I, I know, Georgia has their own Smoky Mountains. Oh, yeah. Tammy getting a workout on this tour? Yes. <laughs> Not a terrible view, huh, Tammy? Nope. The other ones right behind us. I took two. Thank you. You're welcome. Like Coca Cola. So. And down here, we have our sorghum patch. Um, 
Eventually we'll have a kind of a barbecue. Uh, Hot oil on them and then light them and. <laughs> That'd be good. <giving>, yeah. <laughs> Over here is a victory garden in the shape of a V. And we just put things that uh, rabbits like to do because we got a rabbit proof fence around it. So. And the three bins here is for composting. It's a big greenhouse. Nice. It's like Pike's Nursery. You like this kind of plant? Yeah. We'll trade some of our trees that live. Don't shade green anymore. And they went at $150,000 for wow. anything about like this. And so, but you see all these advertisements for carports and that kind of thing, steel buildings, all too. So I said, well, suppose we took this this building, and then we put another building there, and another building there, and a small one right over here. Uh, we can make it look like a real one, and instead of putting corrugated metal, we'll have it certified for the plastic. It was. Ingenious. That came plays havoc with all kinds of things later on in other stories. Uh, the metal guy kind of just sets the basic limits and the laws and, of uh, nature and uh, set, places things in the right place. Everybody else knows that there's Ruism. So that's what Confucius is. And his... I'm a tiger. His okay. mural is... And uh, uh, this is New Age, and it didn't really get uh, going until the 60s uh, to be known as anything. But New Age basically relies a lot on the Zodiac. Tam Uhuberg was everything I had hoped it would be and more. I had such a good time. Our host was so good at explaining things. And we got to see parts of this castle that even mm -hmm. when it's open, uh, other people won't get to see. Mm -hmm. When it does open, Uhuberg promises to be a place of retreat, reflection, and revelry. And they're hoping to be open shooting for May of 2023. When that bed and breakfast opens, Tammy and I plan on being among the first to book a room there. We hope you enjoyed this look at Uhuberg, the castle being built outside Helen, Georgia. Until the next time, this is Mike and Tam saying bye. bye.